Hey, how's it going, guys? It is your girl Sleazy here, and welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption here on the channel. And wake up, what's going to be Red Dead Redemption 2 coming out in a few months? We're going to start amping up the amount of Red Dead Redemption videos. So, you guys are going to get this every Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I hope you guys are excited for that. And, like always, if you are new to the channel, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and hit that bell to stay up to date with what's going on on the channel. Let's get into it. I'm excited. Um, before I continue though, there, there was something I wanted to do. Give me a second, guys. Okay, I just my my levels. All right, let's see. We got. Oh, how do I open up my map? Map. Looks like there's a body mission right over here, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and do this body mission. Mr. Marston, I've been hearing about your plans. Have you, Miss McFarland? Yes, from Lee Johnson. To settle here and build a life for yourself. I'm afraid those aren't my plans. See, I already have a life. Well, I had one, and I'm trying to reclaim it. Or maybe what you could say is that I had two, and I'm trying to end one of them so the other can survive. You do so love to talk in <laughs> Mr. Marston. Do you do that? I wonder, as a substitute for having anything interesting to say? Probably, Miss McFarland. Oh, call me Bonnie. <laughs> <laughs> Call me Bonnie. Miss McFarland, I'm married. I have a son. I had a daughter, but she died. Years before that, I rode in a gang. We robbed banks, trains, held people ransom. We killed people we didn't like. Bill Williamson was in that gang. Now, if I don't capture my former brother in arms, <coughs> great harm will befall my family. Now, I don't suppose any of this is very interesting to you, but I hope it explains why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. No, I do understand. I had no idea. You poor man. <coughs> Even in this new country, memories don't really fade. My father was an illiterate Scot born on the boat into New York. He never saw his homeland, but to hear him talk about it, you'd imagine he only ever ate haggis and wore a kilt. And he hated the English for what they had done to his great-grandparents that he'd never met. People don't forget. Nothing gets forgiven. That's true. Especially when it comes to money. And you know, even now, after all his labors, my father's debts are still terrible. I worry every day about us losing the ranch. It would kill him. My father died when I was eight years old. His eyes were, well, let's just say he was blinded in a bar fight south of Chicago. My mother died during childbirth. She was a prostitute and he was her, well, I don't, I don't know what he was. So I was sent off to an orphanage and ran away and fell in with a gang. My word. What a difficult life you've lived. Uh, the leader of the gang taught me how to read. Taught me how to see all that was good in the world. He was a great man in a way. But you killed people. Sure. But I've suffered for it. And that's the life I left. Or tried to leave. Uh, said too much, Bonnie. I'm an uneducated killer. Sent here to do all I can do well. Kill a man in cold blood so that another man may do his part to cut crime in an area, and a rich man can be elected governor on the back of these promises. Civilization is a truly beautiful thing, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Listen, can you help me? Well, I can try. What do you need, money? No, nothing so complicated. I need an extra hand to take out the herd to pasture. <laughs> sure, point me in the right direction. <laughs> I 
Mounts by Dagger Huss. Is this Blackboard Bard? Right. Are you ready to learn how to herd some cows? Come on, buddy. You're a slow brother trucker. Thank you for telling me all that back there. It must have been hard for you. I hope you understand now why I've been playing my cards somewhat close to my chest. I didn't know you had a wife and child. Then again, I don't think I ever asked. They're... They're lucky to have a man like you. I ain't so sure about that, but thank you. <laughs> so we're gonna learn how to herd some cattle. I'm really bad at hurting. Come on. Ride them down the road, Mr. Marston. Oh, there's another one. I, I forgot one. Come on, guys. Get right at them. Right at this way. Okay, I'm trying. So here's still the herd left. Okay, so it's like opposite here. To move this whole herd. for that bad boy uh, so we can either go ahead and do another body mission which looks like our honor is going up a little bit oh my god I keep hitting the wrong freaking button so let's see what do we got here we have a body mission over here Marshall Johnson so since we're so close to body let's go ahead and we'll do another body mission I guess Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Pop ups. I really, I really have to like. Oh my god, my horse is like ten thousand times faster. What happened? Come on. I think I was a coward in past life, guys. <laughs> Why is this so funny to me? I was definitely a cow in a past life. Give me a second, guys. Okay, sorry about those annoying pop-ups. I'm very sorry about it. Um, 
I think we gotta go, what, mount our horse over here? Um, uh, yeah, that, that was really annoying. I didn't realize that my Facebook was up. And, um, so I wanted to make sure I was logged out so you guys didn't have any more interruptions. Well, hello, Mr. Marston. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Did you meet my father? John Marston, this is my father, Drew McFarlane. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Marston. Please. So, my daughter informs me that you're here on some secret mission to uh, remove some undesirables from the county. Something like that. I'm grateful for the hospitality, sir. Well, you know, we've lived here for 30 years now. Came here from the east. The land had never been settled. For 10 years, we fought the Indians. Tough men. And we had outlaws, and we had drought, and we had smallpox, terrible winters, cholera. I very more of my children than I raised. Sorry to hear that, sir. I've seen strong men wither and die under that unforgiving sun. I've had whole herds of cattle take sick and die. But I've never once doubted my life here. No, sir. When I hear about this so-called federal government sending out agents to covertly murder and control people, then I start to worry. I mean, yeah, all right, Williamson is a menace, and men like him are the plague. But isn't a government agent a worse menace? And all that symbolizes, I mean. You may be right, sir. Well, you're a brave man. You're always going to be welcome here. But you tell your friends out east that we don't want to live like that out here. Sneaking around and spying and secret missions. It's preposterous. Trust me, sir. I agree with you. Good. Well, we won't insult you any further. Come on, Bonnie. We got things to do. Mr. Marston, do you want to join us? It's Daddy's favorite pastime. Apart from political discourse, that is. What is? Breaking in horses. Come on. I hear you're a pretty decent rider. For a city dweller, that is. <laughs> you're gonna need this, Mr. Marston. Okay. Right. Now you got some rope on your belt. Let's see if we can't wrangle some horses. So it looks like we got a mount our horse again. Bonnie's missions are honestly they're really fun. Like I'm enjoying them. Yeah. I'm actually like I'm thoroughly enjoying them right now. You sure have some interesting theories on what the government's doing, sir. They ain't theories, Mr. Marston. I saw the telegram Marshall got from Blackwater. It ain't exactly a state secret who sent you. Well, is he wrong? I saw those men from the train. The government can go to hell if you ask me. Those sons of bitches would steal a coin off a dead man's eyes. Mr. Marston! He's right. Now, I don't know much about politics. Please, Paul, can we just enjoy the ride? I know ride? we're only as free as they say we are. Power's like a drink. The more you have, the more you want. And there are few men who can handle it. There's certain things in this country a woman could do much better if you ask me. I ain't gonna argue with that, Miss McFarland. Jesus, all these pop-ups. I'm sorry, guys. There they are! Beauties! Wild oh, horses with the... Come on! Let's rope one! Gee up! Let's go! Come on! Don't be afraid of that last hole! Okay, okay. Come on, boys! Pull that damn 
I got this, I got this. How did I not get that? Oh, this is like, reminds me of that game Raft. Have you guys seen that on my channel? I'm not very good at this. It says, right? Let me take him from here. You get back on your okay. own horse. Woo. I think that's enough activity for an old timer like me. I'll take this one back to the Alright, that was actually way play. cool, honestly. A little bit difficult. Uh, actually, way difficult. Come on, then. Let's see if you can get another one. Oh, you want me to get another one, bitch? Come on. God, this is so difficult. Like, I have to concentrate. Steady. I got you now. Oh my god. I feel like I'm gonna fall off this next thing. Alright, we did it. You got it, eating out of your hand. We did it, guys. Nice work. I think that'll do it for Alright, cool. I you think we're done. Chance. Where's, where's my dead horse? There's my dead horse. Let's go. I like your father. I'm glad. He's quite a character. You have a good life here. The life I want. For me and my family, I mean. We don't have a lot anymore. You have enough. It's one that gets so many folks in trouble. It'll sap your spirit and make you poor. But it's straight. And it's decent. There's no better night's sleep. This is so cool. An honest day's work. It's no wonder you look so tired, then. Some deck must be shy of Joker, Miss McFarland. I like that my horse is black. Who'd have thought you'd be such a natural at busting Broncos? That was fun. I think you could be a fine rancher one day. If you can bear to stop killing people for a living. Sure. Yeah. All right, back at the ranch, guys. Well done, Mr. Marston. These are fine horses. Hey, Bonnie. Amos was saying some horses been spotted somewhere outside of Armadillo. Let's go, Mr. Marston. We can really do with those horses. No rest for the wicked. Let's 
Let's see if we can track down that other herd. We're gonna do another herd? Are you like actually kidding me? You never did tell me why you were never married. Aside from the snobbery, that is. You sure ask a lot. I'm just surprised, that's all. You must have been quite a catch. The fact that you're talking in the past says it all. No, that's not what I mean. You must have had some suitors, that's all I'm saying. Some, I suppose. Here and there. A ranch in the middle of Hennigan's stead ain't really the place to find a husband. Amos, he's a little, well, you know, countryfied. Where'd you get your airs and graces, Miss McFarland? From a couple of cheap governesses, Paul hired to save us from being savages. I'd like to talk about more than just cattle and chickens sometimes, that's all. And after my brother left, it was up to me to become the man of the ranch. He'd never admit it, but my paw's a lot frailer than he looks. You're worth two of any man I know, miss. I'll try to take that as a compliment. How far is this? In many ways. My wife is kind of like you, Miss McFarland. Is that so? She's always been a woman in a man's world. You don't talk about her very much. There's my boys. Come on, Mr. Marston. Okay, it looks like we have a gang, like a squad, to go get these dang horses. I don't know where we're going. Looks like it's relatively close, hopefully. Wait for my signal, and don't let those horses out of your sight! Right you are, miss. Like, uh, herding cattle before? Is that what we have to do? Okay, yeah, it's exactly like that. Oh my god, I'm so bad! It's okay, I think we got it. Oh, it's almost there. Come on. Come on. Bitch. Oh my god, this, this is hard. together. Alright, come on guys. That's it! Follow me this way. Come on.
Okay. Alright, let's, let's do this. Alright, we actually did it. Holy shit, that was impossible. Seriously, why do I have to do it? We got it, we got it. I think we got it, bro. Almost got you. I think we actually, I think we actually could do this. Oh, shit! When he says, oh, shit, I freak out. Relax now. You're mine now. But I think we got it. Hold on! Come on. Is gonna break Come in? On. Nearly got you. There we go. Yeah. Where's my horse? Okay, good horse. See. Right, yeah, yeah, we just gotta follow this path, right. There we go! Thanks for your help today, Mr. Marston. We got some fine horses. You know, why don't you keep that stallion as your own, as a thank you from all of us? Thank you, ma'am. He's a fine animal. guys that is the episode i hope you did in fact enjoy this uh episode of red dead redemption uh obviously the wake of what's going on uh here coming up in a few short uh few short months anyway if you're new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and i hope everyone has an enjoyable rest of the day i will catch you all next time peace out guys